news begins right now with a breaking news alert. An animal house raid and rescue. Breaking news out of Sterling Heights. More than 60 animals are being removed from a kennel as part of an investigation into abuse. We broke the story first on Local 4 News at 4. And as you can see from these live pictures from Sky 4, the investigation is still underway. Good afternoon. Good to have you with us here at 5. This concern is over 50 dogs, 12 cats, and a horse, too. And, Devin, that's just the animals that the authorities know about so far. At this hour, they're being rescued from conditions described as unfit for man or beast. To Art Edwards, who's been on the scene since the very beginning. He's live now with the latest. Art? You know, we've been here since about 10.30 this morning. We just, a few minutes ago, got an updated number. There were 61 dogs, about 12 to 15 cats, and the horse here. They have been working all day to sort of coordinate everything because they had so many animals, they had to call in help from outside agencies. This afternoon, volunteers with All About Animals started to transfer dogs out of the Lornich Kennels in Sterling Heights. For the rescue volunteers, this was an emotional job. Nearly all the dogs kept here needed some serious care, and some of them had severe medical problems. I've never seen anything like it. I own a boarding kennel. The smell back there is horrible. There is a chihuahua back there whose feet are so sore from walking on the cage that he can't stand. His head is in his dish. He looks like he's near death, but it might just be because he can't stand up. Sterling Heights police came here this morning after a complaint they received last week about the conditions. When they served a search warrant on the property, they found 40 to 50 dogs, about a dozen cats, and a horse. And the conditions we found were uh, not very good, to say the least. Uh, feces all over the ground, um, animals in pretty bad condition. So our number one priority is to make sure that we don't lose any animals and that they're taken care of. It took several hours for police to sort everything out. They called Oakland County Animal Control, the Michigan Humane Society, all about animals, animal rescue, and a private vet to look at the situation. They've decided all the animals will be moved out of here, at least for the time being. And we're going to pull as many animals as we can out of here and put them up for adoption, get them healthy, do what vet uh, care is necessary, and uh, see if people adopt them. Now, the work does still continue out here. The police department is still here. They are still back there working with some of those animals to get them out. Uh, they also are bringing in another person to come and get the horse. What we're told is the horse looks like it is significantly underweight, so they're going to get that out. Uh, also, the veterinarian, if you come back to pictures on the ground, that's the vet's van right there, that green van. Uh, they came and checked out all the animals. We're going to hear from the vet at, in about a half an hour, talk a little bit more about what they found as well uh, when they were out here. They do believe all the animals are going to survive, but some of them really are in pretty tough shape. Reporting live from Sterling Heights, Art Edwards, Local 4. Art, right, we know that some of these situations are where authorities have had their eye on a situation for some right. time and then right. when it finally reaches a breaking point. Is that what the situation was here? Or did this just come out of the blue? Well, they've had other contact with this person before. In 2004, uh, there were six counts of animal cruelty and abandonment. Uh, two, uh, I think two, there were two charges that she was convicted on uh, and she has been suspended by the AKC. This time, the horse apparently got out over the weekend. They found the horse, brought it back, and could look onto the property and see that maybe there were some issues with some of the conditions there. Yeah. All right, Art, we'll keep following uh, the investigation there and the rescue effort as it continues. Right.